this this is what happens when you get a new drone and the only user manual you followed was a mission with a helicopter in GTA. This mistake costed me $300 and for some reason nobody shouts about the need to calibrate your compass and IMU. In this video we are going to cover why it happened, what the compass and the IMU actually do and a complete tutorial on how to calibrate your IMU and compass on the DJI Mini 4 Pro. An uncalibrated compass means that your drone doesn't know where it's north, south, east or west. So when I pushed my stick upward, it thought that it's hard right. The result? A chaotic flight and a crash. And it's not only about preventing crashes. A proper calibration ensures that your drone is stable in the air, which is crucial for smooth video footage. A misaligned IMU can lead to tilted horizon or to an accurate GPS positioning, which is used by return to home function, by the way. I'm sure you want this to work properly when you lose a connection to your drone. So what are these two things we are talking about? Let's break it down quickly. First, the compass. It's basically drone's sense of direction. It tells the drone where the north is. If it's wrong, then it flies to a uh, wrong direction. That's how you get a crash. Next, the IMU. Think of it as a drone's sense of balance. It's what keeps your drone hovering perfectly still and ensures your video horizon is dead level. Calibrating both of them resets the drone senses, so it's not confused. That's it. Now let's actually do it. Okay, so make sure to enable your drone and your remote controller. Then on the remote controller, uh, go to drone menu by clicking on, on this three dots and scroll down to the part of the sensors. Here is the compass and IMU. Click on the calibrate and follow the instructions. So it says we need to unfold the arms and keep it clear out of metal objects and uh, electrical charge. And make sure the height is around one and a half meters above the ground. So we click start and it asks to rotate our aircraft horizontally. So that's what we do. We rotate it this way. One circle should be enough, but sometimes it uh, asks for more. Yes, this is succeeded. And now it asks us to rotate our aircraft vertically. We move it this way and rotate it as well. Yes, and the collaboration is successful. It took like 20 seconds, right? Now to the IMU part. This, this is going to be a little bit complicated, but not that hard as well. For this part you can fold your arms, and you also can put your cap on, on uh, the lens. Go to the same menu, scroll to the IMU calibration, press on it. And it says that we need to have a level surface for the drone. I'm in the field, so I found, find, found something for myself. Uh, then we press start. Uh, it should be positioned like this on the first step, on, the, on, his, on his bottom. Then it asks us to put the drone on one side. Sometimes the drone falls off, so we need to find a good spot for it. Then on the back. On the other side, you see that sometimes it's tricky. And on the back, this is the last step. Then it restarts the drone. You already can place it differently. Then we see the successful calibration message and that's all. It's ready to fly. All right, kids. We just spent a few minutes on calibrating our drone. 
and saved us from a potential crash. Make sure you make this action a required step in your flight. Send this video to your drone buddy and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to share more useful tips.